students do not leave their constitutional rights at the schoolhouse door. That 1969 Supreme Court ruling will be tested because of an incident that occurred at Green Run High School last November. The student newspaper there was in the course of normal distribution when Principal J. Wiley French recalled it and sent it back to the printers. With the instructions that the two inside pages, which apparently contained offensive articles in the principal's opinion, uh, were to be glued together and then the newspaper returned to the high school for distribution. The two articles that the school principal and school superintendent apparently objected to were these. One's entitled, Sex, It's Not Just for Marriage Anymore, and it asks, Do you believe in premarital sex? Is it important to you that your future spouse be a virgin? The other article has to do with a free clinic and deals with a teenager's abortion experience. Some questions, some answers. There are absolutely no guidelines, there are absolutely no narrowly drawn criteria, if you will, which is the term the courts frequently use, which tell the students what they can and cannot publish. And this has had a chilling effect upon the newspaper ever since. The lawsuit, filed in behalf of the student editor, asks that the original version of the November hoof prints be published and that there be no effort to restrain the paper's content in the future. French has allegedly set up a review committee to inspect all student publications for questionable content. The word from the school administration is no comment. Anticipating a court battle from the start, school officials have been closed-mouthed, shielded by the pending litigation. The irony in all of this, says Rosenblatt, is that students go to school to learn about the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. And by a single action, he says, the principal has undermined everything they've been taught. Howard Jaffe, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Virginia Beach.